the group was highly acquisitive in, in its early years, and it's only a, a young group. It's been listed since 2012. And we did a massive amount of, of acquisitions within a very short period of time. Um, I think most of those acquisitions are productive assets now, with the exception of the Kanu business, which, we, we, which we've sold on. But when you, when you acquire nine businesses, you need to obviously spend time bedding them down, integrating them, and, and aligning them. So within a group, we had to create a culture. We've had to create some, some synergies, some cross-selling opportunities. We've had to cohabit a number of businesses. So there was a lot of restructuring required. We believe that management has taken the pain. We, we spent the last 18 to 24 months doing just that. And we believe that the platform is now set. The restructuring is firmly behind us. Uh, we hope and certainly we are expecting no further major restructuring or retrenchments in the year ahead. It will be more focused on cost optimization and efficiencies. And I think the business is set. We are still operating in a very tough trading environment. And as a result, we need to be agile and flexible to market forces. But uh, I, believe, I believe the platform is set for, for future growth now. Growth is, is predominantly based on organic and inorganic options. Um, one of the areas that we would like to do organically is to diversify our businesses um, away from the mining and construction sector cyclicality that currently pervades the market. Uh, so there are a number of initiatives within the existing businesses that we have where we can actually unpack those businesses into <coughs> supporting or peripheral type businesses that are, are very aligned to the current business. For example, in our analytical services business, you know, we, we're predominantly focused in the mining sector. However, there are many opportunities in, in the agriculture sector, in the water sector that we could take, take heed of. So there's that element of growth. The, the other element of growth is through bolt-on opportunities and in, in certainly in our TPC business, to, in order to grow top line there, we, we have a, a number of aspirations in terms of bolt-on opportunities that will, will support that business going forward. And then lastly, as a management group, we will always look at core standalone acquisitions that seek to create wealth for shareholders, seek to diversify away from the mining and construction, construction focus. And in that regard, I think we will start to build new pillars of business to, to build an annuity income stream, which, which then provides direct and defensive support to the trading environment that we find ourselves in.